Pilates superstar Kathy Ho with a preview of the Puppies and Planks Festival. Monday at 11 a.m. on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Millions are still exposed to the dangers of secondhand smoke. And some of them can't do anything about it. But you can protect your family. Visit tobaccofreeca.com. No one plans on having an accident. That morning, it happened to me. After the fall, I had so many questions about the hospital bills. Am I getting the best care? What about my job? I need help. I gotta call the Barnes firm. And that was the best call I could have made. At the Barnes firm, we've handled thousands of accident cases. Our team works to answer all of your questions and help each client get the best result possible. It's more than just the scores, more than just the highlights. KTLA 5 takes you inside the week's biggest stories with the players, the coaches, and the fans. KTLA 5 Sports Final, tonight at 1130. Brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. Now at 5, developing news out of South L.A. A gas leak explosion sends two people to the hospital. We're live there with the latest. Then a safety crisis over the super bloom in Lake Elsinore, as officials say it's creating chaos. And celebrating St. Patrick's Day with record heat, where some areas in Southern California set record-breaking temperatures. Hello, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Rick Chick. And happy Sunday. I'm Courtney Friel. The KTLA 5 News at 5 starts right now. A tanker leaking gas causes this fiery explosion rocking the South L.A. neighborhood. The blast sent two people to the hospital and damaged nearby homes. Let's go now to KTLA 5's John Benoglio, who's live at the scene with the developing details. What's happening, John? According to Rick, we just got an update from fire officials. 30 people have been displaced by this massive explosion. And there's where it happened right behind me. You can see that's one of the homes that was involved. It's got a red tag on the door, meaning it is not safe to inhabit. And if we pan the camera to the left, you can see that firefighters uh, remain on site as they try to assess this situation. This is about as close as we can get right now because arson investigators are still working this scene. So let's take